how to promote redbubble products on pinterest hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be showing you how you can promote your redbubble products on pinterest so let's get started now redbubble is a amazing print on demand platform where you can create your own store and sell your products online uh, what you have to do is simply come to redbubble.com and you will land on this website right here what you have to do is you simply sign up with your email address and set up a reasonable password once you have created your store on redbubble you can actually create these amazing products of your own you can actually do print on demand as well and you can create stickers and pillows posters clothing wall art mask and uh, shop home and living shop accessories and much more uh, you can see right here these are the different featured products right here so redbubble is actually an amazing platform with a large audience many people actually use redbubble to do their business online and what you do is you simply you know create a store and then you have to add a different products you create different products um the more creative your product will be the more uh, audience it will attract and you will be able to sell it online so if we talk about the pricing you can see right here uh, that things are actually being sold for like pretty good uh, pricing you can see like this one is for 32 129 uh, so as a seller you can make a lot of profit on red bubble so when we create any product on redbubble for example you can see like these stickers these are like rick and morty stickers they look like pretty cool and these are being sold for like one dollars and these are like by different creators um so whatever you like you can you know kind of like buy from here um so as i was saying when we create a product on redbubble what happens is you simply create and design your product then you can actually check it out any you know design can be um added to any of the uh, product for example you can create a mug you can create a bag or t-shirt whatever you want to do now an, an important step in creating a product and selling it is promoting your product like the product you create for example any person who has created this mug right here or let's just say uh these uh printables let's just say this shirt right here so the person who has like created this shirt it is being sold for 20 dollars now they will need to do promotion for this product the product that they have actually created so what you can do is you can promote your products for free on a pinterest yes you heard me right pinterest is an amazing platform where you can actually come and promote your products and now how to do that how you can actually promote your product on pinterest so what happens is you will simply create a product on your red bowl now the product can be anything as i said clothing sticker mask phone cases wall art whatever product you have created once you have created the product you want to promote the product you will simply go to your pinterest pinterest is an amazing platform platform if you're not familiar with pinterest pinterest is a a platform where you come and you you know check out different uh, things different inspiration you pin these uh, pins to your boards and then um you can you know check them out later it also works as a search engine now on pinterest people are always uh, looking for different products they are pinning uh, different products to their boards and the audience on pinterest is pretty amazing like it has a large number of audience and this audience is your potential buyer why i'm saying these are your buyers because people actually check out the pins and these are their inspiration like any person coming on pinterest okay this is the product i wanted for example um any product any shirt uh, let's just uh, go to redbubble and let me just show you a product let's just say that any person came on pinterest and they will see this pin a pin created for your stickers that you create created right so they will check out these stickers and they'll be like okay these are very cool stickers they will maybe not buy at that moment but they will save the sticker to their board and whenever they will be using pinterest they will come back and they'll be like okay um so it's a, like a pretty good sticker so i should kind of like buy it and they will be able to you know come to your store and check it out so they will come to their pinterest right here and they will be able to check it out so 
the question is how to actually add your product uh, to your Pinterest, like how you will actually, you know, add product, uh, you will create a pin. So the answer is simple. You simply click on this plus icon right here. When you do that, you will be able to create a new a pin. Simply click on create a pin. You will simply, you know, create your pin like we do on Pinterest. You don't need any business account or any integration as such. You just need your account that you have. So what happens is now, in creating a pin there are different factors that will actually play an important role the first factor is going to be you know the quality of the image should be good the product image that you are going to add now if you do not want to add the product image directly you can actually create amazing pins with canva.com and make sure that your pin is attractive uh, so that people actually click on that and let's just say uh, that maybe this is a printable that I am selling on my Redbubble, right? So this is going to be the um, printable that I am going to sell. So I, I have added the picture right here as we do. Now on Pinterest, you can actually add a video as well. That kind of like gives us more options because you can create a 15 to 60 second off video on Pinterest and you can do a product review, like any product that you have, for example, um, like your product that you have if it's a phone case you can take a picture or make a video about it if you have a sticker you can show your sticker you can do a review about your product and create a short video and post it on pinterest right here so once you do that after that you have to add the title make sure your title is as same as your uh, product on redbubble for this one i'm going with printable so once you have added the title after that tell everyone what your pin is about here we add the description in the description make sure you add a good description about your product and uh, it is suggested that you kind of like go with the same description you have for your product on Redbubble and that will be actually you know better uh, because the description on Redbubble and on your pin make sure that it's descriptive enough and it's like not that long to you it should be good so that people uh, who read it they have an idea about your product so add a description whatever you want to add after that now we also have the option of add alt text now now, alt text gave us an opportunity to kind of like play around with the keywords and we can add up to 500 of words right here and we can explain what this pin is about in this section don't it like explain what the pin is about because that's like uh, in the description kind of like go ahead and add what it, the pin is about what we do is you can just go for any of the you know keywords make sure you add good keywords do a keyword research first for example if you have a redbubble product right so make sure that for example let me give you an example i like to give examples because you can have a better idea right um so let's just say that this is like a t-shirt and it says pickle rake a classic t-shirt okay so this is a classic t-shirt this is a keyword right here so if i am on pinterest i can actually go for printable wall art so now if i do a keyword research and i check out that the word printable wall art is not trending but the word digital art is trending so i will kind of write digital art instead of wall art or maybe i'll check out if the word printable is not trending but the word downloadable is trending then i will simply go for downloadable so th these are the different keywords that you should go for and in the alt text you can actually you know kind of experience um you can you know play around with these kind of like words and that will actually help you with the seo because we want our pin to be out there we want our pin to be in the results when anybody will search for wall art i want my pin to be there so that it will have its uh you know um audience and it will get clicks and traffic the traffic that i want to get to my redbubble product after that destination link of course here we will actually add the link for our redbubble product so you will simply open your product up from here and you will copy the link of your product of course and then simply add the link to your pinterest once you have done that your pin will be created and it will be shown among different uh, other pins that you have created so this is how you can actually kind of add your product on pinterest and you will be able to promote it um, the good thing is people are actually looking for different products and you will actually get the clicks on pinterest because pinterest is amazing and it also works as a search engine so people come here looking for different products and your 
product will be among one of these uh, make sure to create a creative pin and then you can also create a video as well to kind of like um promote your product better so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to promote your redbubble products on pinterest for free make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel